Hey Taurus, welcome back. Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, this is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's do a love reading for you guys, okay? Make sure you flip and switch the roles. Obviously, I could be talking about your person. Um, and also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit, okay? So let's see what's going on with your love life, Taurus. Let's see what's going on with your love life, okay? Let's see, let's see for Taurus spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. North Node. What is going on for Taurus and love? What is going on for Taurus and love spirit? Give me clear messages for Taurus and love. What is going on for Taurus? Allow me to channel this energy spirit for Taurus and love. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, we got unawakened, ruled by ego. Okay. Mm, so somebody here is unawakened. Let, let's see. For Taurus. Okay. We have contemplation, heavy thinking, big decisions. Okay. What else for Taurus? Dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Your spirit guides are sending messages through your dreams. Rejection. <laughs> okay. What else? Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. Let's get one more. So this person could be an earth sign or this is you. It says new perspective. Look at it differently and change. So bottom of the deck, we have proposal, marriage, love, business, offer, engagement. <laughs> Taurus. I think somebody's scared. Your person here, whoever this is you're connecting to is scared that uh, you're going to reject them, Taurus. But they know that you're a part of their soul path here. For some of you, your person could be rejecting a third party. Okay. Because somebody is getting signs and dreams and synchronicities about where they're supposed to be and what they're supposed to be doing. Okay. Somebody's per perspective changed. Yours could change. It could have changed as well, Taurus. When it comes down to this person. Yeah, somebody wants to redeem themselves here. But <clears throat> let's see what's going on, Taurus. Let's see what's crack a lack in here. Okay. So earth sign could be significant. Your person could have earth in their chart. Okay. Let's see. In love for Taurus spirit. What's going on for Taurus in love? Clarify this energy. Okay. You could have a big decision to make in love, Taurus, or this is your person. Maybe you're trying to figure out if you want to. I don't know. We got to see if the person is coming back first, though. But let's see. For Taurus spirit. In love, what is going on for Taurus? Let's see. Yeah, bottom of the deck, six of wands. So, some of you guys could be getting a lot of attention right now. Okay, you could be having a lot of people around you that are admiring you, they're celebrating you, and you know, maybe your success, maybe you do something in the public eye. But I feel like you're in your power right now, Taurus. Yeah, y'all getting this money. <laughs> y'all getting this money. But I feel like this is this person. They want a victory with you. This is this uh, ring, this marriage or proposal or whatever this is. Somebody sees you as long term. So, you know, for some of you, this is a new beginning. That's a new beginning. But let's see. In love, Taurus. Okay, yeah, five of wands. Yeah, I feel like somebody is scared that you that you want to fight them or you you want to fucking um you're gonna argue with them because I feel like you already know this. Obviously, you already know this person. But the five of wands could also mean that there's a lot of people fighting over you or have your attention towards or something like that, or, or fighting for your attention. And excuse me, somebody is like trying to figure out like, hmm, should I? You know what I'm saying? Even entertain this person anymore or come back? to you Taurus because they don't want to be rejected <laughs> you know there's people around you that want you and shit like that for some of you I'm feeling like if this person like had a third party or something it's fights and shit going on and maybe they're scared to come towards you because they don't want another fight or argument with this karmic but we're gonna see yeah the full Aquarius Aries energy 
So yeah, somebody's signs and synchronicities is telling them to fucking take a leap of faith. Okay, some of you guys are getting signs and synchronicities to tell you to, you know, start over, start fresh, have a new beginning elsewhere. Okay, but I feel like this is somebody coming towards your ass. <laughs> Somebody's coming towards you for a new beginning. With the fool, it could be an Aquarius or Aries. Yeah, page of cups in reverse. Yeah, this is why somebody here is scared of rejection. This person is is hasn't apologized or said what they needed to say to you or express themselves to you because they're scared of rejection. That's one. Another thing I'm feeling like is that, like I said, they could be rejecting somebody else. This page of cups in reverse could be somebody that's bitter, jealous, they're hateful, very vindictive as well, very emotionally immature, very manipulative and deceptive. So somebody, we're going to figure out who's who, but somebody is definitely getting rejected. What else? There could be something. You could have kids with this person or they could have kids with someone else or y'all could both just have kids maybe from separate relationships. Yeah, two of swords. So somebody here is closed off. I feel like someone feels like they don't have all the answers about this relationship. Like maybe you're confused or something like that right now towards, or this could be this person. They, they don't, it's like they don't know what to do. Should I do this or should I do that? But I feel like somebody's like overwhelmed or they don't, they don't know how to speak to you, Taurus. They need to shift their perspective here. This person, I don't know, they could be pretty guarded, but we're gonna see who's who. Okay, yeah, six of swords in reverse, so stagnant energy. Somebody's like stuck and there's fights and arguments and shit going on. Maybe this is from like the other parties. What I'm feeling is it is another party here because that's what I feel. But six of swords in reverse can mean a lot of delays here. A lot of delays in this connection due to somebody's... The longer somebody sits here, I feel like the longer... I mean, the more this shit is going to go on. I feel like somebody just doesn't... Somebody's scared. With the six of wands in reverse, I mean, six of swords in reverse. I feel like somebody thinks that there's going to be an argument. There is an argument with someone, though. I just don't feel like it's you. You and your person, you know, obviously are not talking, but somebody that they're dealing with is causing trouble or chaos or something like that. This person, they're lacking, they're having some type, type of instability or something, you know, within their life. What else? Yeah, four of wands. Yeah, this person, somebody here is getting dreams and signs and synchronicities about you, Taurus. You could be this person's twin here with the four of wands. But this person sees you as long term. They know that y'all are, are meant to be together here. So I feel like they want to reunite with the four of wands. That's a celebration. That's marriage. <laughs> That's building. I feel like that's this person wants to build. Yeah, Knight of Cups. This person wants to build with you, Taurus. They definitely do. They find you to be very comforting with the Four of Wands. You feel like home to this person. Definitely spirit is, is, is nudging somebody. Yeah, Three of Swords in reverse. So, yeah. Um, Three of Swords in reverse right here to me means that obviously this person wants to reconcile. But I feel like this person has a hard time struggling. I mean, has a hard time with uh, expressing themselves. The three of swords in reverse also means to me that they're healing. Somebody's doing the healing work that they need to do. They're releasing pain and overcoming like some type of, it could be depression. Okay. They could be holding on to something though. They could be holding on to something, which is why they haven't come forward. Hmm, we're gonna see what else because the three of swords could have alternative meanings it can mean like suppressing yeah the moon in reverse yeah a uh, cancer energy yeah the devil at the bottom of the deck a uh, deck capricorn energy wow the devil the judgment and the death card scorpio and libra is here capricorn aquarius aries yeah, something somebody's putting it into some some type of toxic attachment. It could be within themselves, but something here is toxic, and I feel like this could be fear. This this could definitely definitely be fear coming towards you and saying something to you here, 
it could also mean that this person is letting go i feel like somebody else is, is like in the way or something but this person wants your forgiveness this is somebody definitely from your past that wants your forgiveness they, they've awakened or they are awakening okay taurus <laughs> But the moon in reverse, I feel like somebody has something to say and they, they're being in denial or it's like they don't they don't want to say it or they're scared to say it. But I feel like something is coming out. Something I feel like somebody's suppressing their feelings, their emotions. They don't want to listen to their intuition here. <laughs> like somebody's holding on to either guilt or, or pain or something like that. And it's not doing this relationship no justice. So let's see. What's this five of wands? What is this five of wands spirit? For um Taurus. Okay, the moon again in reverse. So strong cancer energy. Yeah, I feel like something came out. There's a secret that's coming out here. I feel like somebody, yeah, somebody's also trying to release fears and anxieties and worries and shit like that. Somebody doesn't like confrontation either. They could be kind of cowardly, whoever this person is, because they don't like confronting their issues or they don't like saying what they did wrong. Or it's like it's like a pride and an ego issue here. That could be what that devil is as well. Yeah, somebody is like, yeah, the hermit in reverse. Somebody wants to come out of hermit mode, Virgo energy. So I feel like I feel like there is fear because the, the hermit in reverse could talk about fear, like being paralyzed or stuck in fear. So this person, if they're arguing with someone else, I feel like it might not be fear of this person, but this person, they could notice obviously this person better than you do. If they're fighting with someone else, that's like other people in the mix, this third party or whatever this is that they're fighting with or whatever, they are some type of evil ass hoe put it that way because they, they start drama or they this person will stoop low to do whatever is what i feel like yeah the hierophant yeah taurus energy yeah queen of cups seven of swords mm. but i feel like this person wants to come out of hermit mode they're not letting fear hold them back i feel like they're trying to withdraw their energy from this whatever this fighting and this argument and this bullshit is here with the hermit in reverse let's see what's this hermit in reverse right here hermit in reverse Okay, yeah, seven of cups in reverse. Somebody's not stuck or or like confused anymore. Just period. Somebody's not stuck in some type of illusion. You're a fool again. Yeah, somebody is taking a leap of faith. This person that you're connecting to, Taurus, they're they they're they wanting to come out of hermit mode and and I feel like somebody's standing up for themselves and making these big decisions because this is a big decision, I guess, to move away from this arguing, this fussing, or whatever this is with this person. It's like somebody has an unhealthy attachment to somebody someone else that they're trying to get away from they're seeing things for what they are now coming back down to reality they're not in some type of fantasy world just period what's this fool yeah the queen of swords the nine of wands yeah they know that you have your guards up taurus you set boundaries with this person that's why this person they, they don't know what to do they don't know whether to come towards you or not. Yeah, the chariot in reverse. I still feel like they're harboring pain from their past, which is why they're not coming back. You know, not right now anyway, or it doesn't look like it right now. They could be, but they're not moving right now. It's like they're stuck. I feel like you cut this person off or they cut you off. And I feel like now you're just returning the favor. Not to do, you know, be tit for tattish. It's just the simple fact that you're not going to be waiting around for somebody or sitting for somebody that's not taking action. So I feel like you're very guarded. Okay. I feel like this person is very guarded as well. I feel like when this leap of faith comes, you could be needing to set boundaries with this person. 
But I feel like somebody has worked really hard or, or you're just tired. You're wounded. You're tired of waiting for this person. So I feel like you set boundaries with them. You say what you needed to say. And this person knows that you don't play no games. You're very raw. You're very blunt. Okay. And you're going to say how you're feeling. Just period. So I feel like this is them. I feel like they're coming back in defensive because they don't know how you're going to react. But for some of you, it's this person breaking free from this this uh toxic karmic energy i feel like somebody is like the wounded warrior somebody has been through a lot of shit he's been trying to push through a lot of this fighting whatever this is is arguing okay but i feel like they're breaking free from something what's this page of cups in reverse yeah the lovers in reverse yeah gemini energy the strength card yeah so it's taking a lot of strength you could be dealing with the leo or gemini here is here now yeah this person is rejecting this other person because somebody's like bitter or jealous or envious or something like that the page of cups is somebody that's very envious and something is wrong with this person yeah i feel like also this person feels like you don't trust them anymore because they rejected you i feel like they have rejected you okay more than once <laughs> yeah eight of swords the world yeah something is closing out with someone else this is a new cycle supposed to be starting okay yeah will the fortune in reverse yeah somebody's moving forward it's just that's just what it is but i feel like somebody's working up the confidence and trying to gain the strength and the courage again to say something to you because they're scared of rejection but they are rejecting someone else they don't want their ass either there's like been a breakup or something like that with the lovers in reverse yeah, somebody can't be uh, uh, can't be trusted. I feel like there's a lot of trust issues here. A lot of trust issues. Yeah, somebody is is learning how to control their, you know, it could be like not I wouldn't say urges. It's just like tame themselves. Somebody's learning how to grow the fuck up because everything that that looks good is not. You know what I'm saying? I feel like somebody realizes that. I feel like you know. It's probably taking a lot in you to say to not say anything to this person. It's not it's, it don't hit like it used to, but you probably want to say something to them too. But it's just like mm, I feel like both of you guys could be marrying each other as well. Like you're scared of rejection from this person, and they're scared from you. But it's like you know, for some of you, this person needs to come forward first. Maybe for most of you, because they're the one that did the rejection. I mean, the rejecting shit in the first place. So let's see, what's this two of swords? Okay, yeah, the Hierophant, that's you, Taurus, and the Queen of Cups. So, <laughs> somebody, yeah, somebody knows that it's unfinished business with you and them. With the world in reverse, a cycle is not closed. It's still open because it's, it's, it's meant for it to come back because y'all have some unfinished business here. Yeah, but it's like um, somebody's is like running away or there's something that they have to tell you, Taurus. There's like a lie or something like that. This person has been lying about something or trying to be sneaky about something. And then they need to come forward. I feel like they see you as somebody that they could be with long term. Yeah, the Empress at the bottom of the deck in reverse and the hangman. So, yeah, this is somebody's baby mama or baby daddy or something like that. The Empress in reverse is a karmic, a distorted feminine energy. This person could be a Libra or another Taurus. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody's greedy and money hungry with the Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is definitely money hungry. This person could be a dark witch as well. Is what I've been picking up for y'all any goddamn way. Could be dealing with the Pisces or they have Taurus in their chart as well, maybe, or, or water. But um, yeah, this person sees you as long term. I feel like you're you're a guide to this person or you're something that um some of you guys could be spiritualists, you're a spiritual guru or something like that. You could be a psychic, you could do readings here or something. But you've been very kind and very giving and very compassionate here to this person. And this person knows this. They know that. I feel like you're very empathetic and you're very sympathetic when it comes down to this person and their situation. Because I feel like you already know about it. So it's like, why keep trying to run away? But this person... They keep trying to avoid, I don't know if they're scared of commitment or something like that. 
who um who this queen of cups yeah three of cups in reverse and the ten of swords okay so this is this person this is this karmic Because there's something that ended with this karmic here. Ten of swords, something is over. There's a harsh betrayal or something like that. For some of you, this is this person's baby mama or something. Because I feel like you're this queen of swords here. You're guarded. You're kind of like wounded and beat up from this goddamn uh, love triangle bullshit. You're, you're over it. Three cups in reverse. I feel like somebody is like... Um, Somebody's like a fake ass spiritualist or something like that. But there is some gossip or something going on. It's like heavy gossip or malicious gossip here. Three of cups in reverse. Um, also, I feel like it's this person that feels lonely. Somebody here feels lonely without you, Taurus. They're like, you know, they've let go. I feel like somebody has cut off friends and family and everything like that. And they're trying to avoid coming to you here because I don't know. They're like fake confused or act like they don't know what to do or whatever. But I, you know, I feel like they feel very lonely without you. And, and they know that they hurt you in a way, like brutally. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they're holding on to this. And this is why they're not coming forward. Because instead of trying to fix the situation, they're sitting with guilt and, and shit like that. Instead of moving forward. And I feel like it's because they don't know how you're going to feel. This person could feel like you don't want to reconcile with them or want to reunite with them. But definitely something is over. I feel like their baby mama or somebody stabbed them in the back. Okay, a lot of times, or oh, this is you, reverse the roles. Somebody could be trying to change the way they look at commitment or relationships or just love in general. Because that could be what's getting in the way as well. I feel like somebody's been scared of commitment. That's why they ran away in the first place. And went back to somebody that they were comfortable with. Or so they thought. What's the six of swords in reverse? <laughs> what's the six of swords in reverse? But yeah, something is just over. This is Six of Swords in reverse. And it's like they needed to, to do the healing work as well. Yeah, the Sun, Leo energy, and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. You know, yeah, this person could be doing some type of spell work too. Page of Pentacles in reverse could mean dark magic as well, just like the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Wands is somebody that does spell work too. What's this Page of Pentacles in reverse right here? For some of you, this is just talking about there There could be some children or something like that that could be holding someone back. Something about a child here. This person could have a child with somebody that could be like not doing what they're supposed to do with their damn kids. I feel like something is being exposed though. Somebody's being exposed or there's some type of enlight enlightenment that somebody is getting. Here, Page of Pentacles in reverse, this person could just be, they, they're, they're experiencing some type of instability in their life. They don't, maybe they don't have much to give, you know, they don't have nothing to offer you. So they're, they're trying to stay stuck. But what's this Page of Pentacles in reverse? Or trying to hold back, maybe. Okay, the chariot. For some of you, it's somebody's car. Somebody has is having car issues here. Okay, yeah, the sun in reverse this time. So, you know, I feel like it's ego, it's pride, and I feel like somebody just feels like they don't have enough. They're seeing what's holding them back, though. Because the chariot upright is like feeling, you know, having that willpower and that courage and determination to move, through, you know, and push through obstacles here. They just, I just feel like they they don't feel secure. The page of pentacles in reverse as well is this daggone karmic too. You know, I feel like this person is have is 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 having some type of stability issues, but I feel like it's the karmic. This page of pentacles in reverse talks about being disloyal and dishonest. And that's coming out about someone. This is what was keeping somebody stuck. And I feel like they're moving forward. But this karmic here, I don't know. They're like fighting or arguing and shit like that. They're causing trouble. And it could be about children as well. That could be what this is. And they're trying to move forward. 
your person. What's this four of wands? Okay, yeah, the eight of swords and the seven of wands, yeah. There's a lot of fighting. I don't know if this person is living with someone else or they're like, I don't know, but there's a lot of like feeling defensive and shit like that or guarded. For some of you, I feel like this is just this person that can't, they can't really think of anything else. They're thinking about you and how they wanna be with you and, and, and be in this relationship with you or build something with you, build something stable with you here, reunite with you. But I feel like this is more so somebody having the courage and the and, and the strength to fight through this mindset that they have. Somebody has a, is like pessimistic. They like they think of the worst. Somebody stays in their head a lot. Somebody's like an overthinker. I feel like also if this is a karmic energy, which I do feel like your person is having to defend themselves against somebody that is mentally disturbed. Somebody is just not okay in the head here. But the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Wands, I feel like. Somebody feels like they have to defend themselves. It's, there could be some type of abuse and shit going on in a home situation. Some, something going on in a household here. Yeah, what's this Three of Swords in reverse? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this. Huh. Somebody is doing some fucking spell work. This person, this, this, whoever this fucking, this bitch is right here. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse and yada, yada, yada. This person is doing spell work. We got the Ace of Wands, Two of Cups upright, Page of Cups in reverse. Somebody is giving a fake ass apology or they're like, trying to charm somebody somebody could be doing like love spells but somebody does not want something with someone they're definitely causing delays with you and your person most definitely that because they see that you and your person are in love with each other they don't want your person to talk to you here they don't so they're doing love spells and shit like that this person could be doing spell work on some somebody's finances and shit because i feel like with this queen of pentacles in reverse this is a mean-spirited person this is somebody i was gonna say this is you but i don't feel like it i feel like this person is somebody that's very jealous and hateful and bitter and they could be doing spell work to kind of like keep a family together. Or this could be somebody in someone's family. Three swords in reverse can mean somebody is not letting go of past pain or letting that hurt go. They're still holding on to it. Okay, and this is person that's mad. This queen of pentacles in reverse with this ten of pentacles. I feel like somebody wants to see you. This, this karmic, if they know you or whatever the fuck. They don't want to see you like stable or grounded. They, they want you to be in reverse. But you are this ten of pentacles. You're healing. You're growing. You're moving on. And you're building an empire for yourself to regardless. But this goddamn Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this person is bitter as fuck. Who's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? What the fuck is this? For some of you, this could be you, right? If, I, if I'm interpret interpreting it another way, which I'm supposed to because it's general. Um, this could be you burying yourself in work. Like you're, you're doing too much. You're, you're focusing on work. You're trying, you know, you're building an empire here, but you're avoiding, I feel like you're healing too, yes, but you're trying to avoid something or avoid thinking about something or avoid doing something here. And you could be like overworking or something like that. But what's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse came out again. So yeah, it's, it's, it's this person, this goddamn, um, could be dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody's childish as fuck though, but somebody doesn't feel the same about anyone anymore. It's like the sex ain't the same or whatever the fuck. They don't, somebody here doesn't want this sex from this person. They don't want to do nothing with them. Somebody is not feeling inspired or feeling, you know, just they don't feel that spark anymore with someone. I feel like it's your person with this karmic energy. Somebody is just like, it's a no. Somebody's trying to block somebody's, um, somebody's trying to cause creative blocks as well. Someone could be lying about a pregnancy too, saying that, that a child is theirs or whatever the fuck. It's like, mm -mm, but this Ace of Wands is definitely stuck. It's like stuck energy. Somebody's stuck with someone. 
Mm, man, this is crazy. What's the moon in reverse? Somebody's trying to block someone's intuition as well. What's this moon in reverse? And I feel like somebody's coming on hard to some to somebody and it's turning someone off. It's like they're trying to force them to have sex with them. It's like somebody's being too intense and it's turning somebody the fuck off. They're rejecting it. They don't want this person. It's just period. And they're they're mad. What's the moon in reverse? Somebody's a loser. <laughs> yeah, the devil. Yeah, like I said, somebody's trying to block someone's intuition. Capricorn energy. Yeah, nine of swords in reverse. But somebody is seeing something very clear. I mean, yeah, nine of swords in reverse. Yeah, king of swords in the world. And the temperance. So, yeah, it's, it's your masculine here. This is a masculine energy. Okay, we have the queen of swords with the king of swords. So, there's a match here. I do feel like there's a divorce. But king of swords, queen of swords is still a divine match. Okay. somebody is going through it <laughs> your person is going through it but i feel like they are escaping fears anxieties worries or and stress here i feel like because that's what was was holding somebody back and nine of swords in reverse it's like they're battling the devil whatever this devil energy is it could be spell work or it could just be um their own way of thinking what's this devil Some, something is trying to keep them stuck and they're they're fighting through it what's this devil right here you know Someone here could be hallucinating or having bad dreams. It's like somebody tripping. What's the devil? Okay, yeah, the king of swords came out. Yeah, in the world. So, yeah, it's, it's closing out. Some Somebody is taking back their power and they're standing up for themselves. They're fighting whatever this devil energy is. Okay, and standing in their true authentic self. And I feel like something is trying to pull them back in or, or they're fighting against their old ways, their ego okay but i feel like the, the king of swords upright is somebody that's honest yeah temperance they're trying to temper themselves and kind of like be patient with themselves here what's this uh nine of swords in reverse I feel like it could be them though. There's a cycle that's closing out to regardless with the world, but it could be them that's like um it's fears and worries and shit like that that they're trying to to work through. What's the nine of swords in reverse? Okay, yeah, the four of wands in reverse and the knight of cups, yeah. So for some of you, this person is is anxious about moving out or moving away. Four wands in reverse is definitely unhappy family or unhappy home situation. Something is just, yeah, that they're leaving this shit here. And this is this Knight of Cups. This is them. Um, yeah, Justice could be dealing with the Libra. Yeah, this is them trying to come towards you with this Knight of Cups and put push through fears and worries. That's what I feel like. Somebody's releasing fears and anxieties and worries and shit. Yeah, but this is something coming in with the Knight of Cups. This is like an offer coming in. Hmm. Y'all could be saying 10-10. 7 7 some more clarity here for Taurus in their love situation. Okay, <laughs> bottom of the deck, this is a divine counterpart connection, twin flame. So this is you definitely your twin because it is a divine couple here. Okay, this is your twin that's trying to come back and break free from a karmic cycle. Yeah, decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. support lean on your inner circle during this time it came out in reverse so this person doesn't have any support yeah the four wands in reverse is definitely people that are against this person's decision will coming towards you here somebody's not okay with it and who gives a fuck <clears throat> people need to mind their motherfucking business dead ass trust it says it's safe to trust in this situation so you know, I do feel like your person is genuine, but they're battling some. They're battling somebody that's very dark. Somebody is very dark. 
Then we have finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. It came out in reverse. So somebody is probably um, coming out of hard times and shit like that. Okay. To come towards you. I just feel like they're dealing with somebody that's evil as fuck. They are. And they're doing spell work on this person's money. And it could be some type of love spells or sex magic or something. What else? For Taurus. Unavailable. This person is unable to give you all that you deserve. Yeah, I feel like this person, it fell over the support card. So I feel like this person is saying that this karmic is not. They can't just period. They can't. And I also feel like you feel this way about your person. Or you have feel, felt this way. One more. Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. That came out in reverse. So I feel like somebody is fucking not. They are not safe and they are not being divinely guided. It's probably this damn karmic. It's probably the karmic. Because you and your person are being guided. Let's see. Which way do I... Oh, okay. Let's pull from this uh, karmic tales deck. Let's see what happened with this karmic... People always follow me when I'm doing my work. And when I'm doing something, you know, it's very annoying. <laughs> very. Well, this ain't even work to me. This is fun. <laughs> I like doing my readings. So bottom of the deck is Divine Masculine. Yeah, so this is definitely your Divine Masculine. Yeah, it says broke, low on funds. So, you know, this person could be going through it what else financially it says finances financial challenges are affecting this relationship but i feel like they're coming out of feeling that way or dealing with that shit i feel like somebody here is codependent on someone it says who are you <laughs> oh what somebody here is trying to remove their mask they're trying to really see who the fuck they are so they can come to you authentically. Yeah, but self-absorbed, your yeah, obsession can't get over you. I feel like this person, this karmic energy is crazy. And this person has some obsessive tendencies and they have some type of mental disorder. This person, they tripping. Money spells. Yeah, just thank you, spirit. I just said that they were doing money spells. Anything I want. Yeah, this person is, is fucking... They're a user and a loser, <laughs> just period. They're very materialistic. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is just that, very superficial. Lack of emotional intelligence. Yeah, $36, broke, low on funds. I feel like that's this karmic. Their, their ass is broke and your person is moving forward. This is this goddamn karmic that's unhappy because they don't even have money to take care of the fucking home anymore. They probably lost that shit. Yeah, because your person is moving out and moving on and that's just period. Yeah, it says karmic, and then it says endings. It says taken for granted, used and abused, that fell out. That's your person. Karmic. Then it says endings, and then it says trusting spirit. Yeah, your person is trusting spirit. They fucking, you know, ended things with this goddamn karmic. The police could be involved here with these police on this, these uh, law enforcement on this thing, this card. Painful memories from the past. Yeah, your person is struggling to... to yeah, karmic cycle is closing. Sex addiction. So somebody here could have had a sex addiction. Okay, cancer is on the bottom of the deck. Somebody could have cancer. Highly aspected in their chart. But, yeah, that's your person leaving this karmic-ass relationship. They're done with it. It's over. It's period. And they're trusting spirit to guide their way. But there's, there's an offer coming in. Their family, I'm not going to be supportive or whatever the fuck. But, okay. And... Let's see. What else for Taurus? Bottom of the deck is losing battle. You are fighting a losing battle against your opposition. Don't downgrade yourself. Play at your level, not theirs. Yeah. So this is, this is, I feel like this is a message for your person. Yeah, because, you know, 
it's not that they're always going to lose. I just feel like going against these people is they're never going to fucking make them see them differently. These, these karmics are not going to see a person differently ever. So they shouldn't even stoop down to their level here. They're not even worth that much. <laughs> you know, so says guarded they are still very guarded and trapped behind their own emotional defenses allow them to fall in love and steps that fell out in reverse so i feel like this person wants to let their guards down and tell you how they feel it says plotting they're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty of other options yeah i said that in the beginning it says the gods favor you now is the time your prayers have been heard you will succeed and be vindicated so yeah, if you've been manifesting this person or they've been manifesting you or whatever, you and your twin, it looks like things are going to turn out in your favor because the cycle ain't over. So you're going to have to deal with it one way or the other. It says leap of faith. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. Yep. Then we have coldness. They feel you pulling away. They wish they can pull you back and convince you they're worth keeping. Then we have passion ignited. Their intense sexual desire towards you is making it hard for them to know the difference between lust and love. You know, this fell over the seven of cups and it came out in reverse. So this person, they didn't know what that shit was in the beginning. I feel like, like I said, this person could be doing spell work. They could be doing some type of magic on this person to pull them back in. Okay. This this karmic is like addicted to your to, to sex with your person, to having sex with your person or something like that. They're They're crazy. I don't know. They need to get their shit together. But um, with this coming out in reverse, I feel like they're not coming in for sex anymore. They're not coming in for sex or they're not coming in all aroused and shit like that. They're fucking, they're coming in to be serious. That's what this is giving me. You're going to have to make a decision and decide about this relationship. There are going to be people that, there are going to be people that's not supporting you. And so the fuck what I say that all the time, who cares? Who gives a fuck? Why do you, why do people care about being validated or support like that from family, friends, whoever the fuck, if you don't like it, that's on you. This is my journey. This is my path. So if you don't like it, then I don't know, maybe go mind your business and focus on something that you do like instead of something that you don't. You know what I'm saying? I hate when people don't mind their goddamn business. And it's all out of jealousy and hatred. This third party don't like your ass. This third party don't like themselves. So, of course, they don't like you. <clears throat> people are jokes to me. So, anywho, this is your reading, guys. Okay, I hope it resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on um, to all so you guys can get my notifications. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Taurus.